hey everyone uh, i'm going to show you the method one which i have explained uh, on the article so this is the data i have uh, where i want to remove the duplicates on column a so the duplicates ones duplicate uh, values are in red which i have uh, marked over here so to do that I'll add a helper column, two helper columns I need. Let me add one helper column and add number one to whatever the data you have. So why I have added this column, I'll tell you later on. Okay. Now to do that, first what I am going to do is I am going to sort this entire uh, set of data. So select the entire range including the helper column, make sure you select the helper column as well. And from menu data sort and sort on the column which where you want to find you want to find the duplicate. So here it is column A. So once you do that, you will see that the the values, those are duplicate, they appear together like this. Okay. Now add another helper column and add a formula on the second row. That means uh, not on the first row of your data. The formula is I'll explain why this formula so to find out the duplicates what I need to do is I need to compare this value with this value then this value with this one then row 5 to row 4 similarly I will keep on comparing like this and if they are same the if function will return 1 otherwise 0 so once you add that what will happen is you will see the values those are duplicates they have one besides them now what you need to do is you need to do a filter and filter out only the values which are the duplicate ones fine now how do you delete it so just select the rows and click right click and choose delete rows so your duplicates are gone now go back to the filter and select all the rows now you will see that you have the uh, data which is not duplicate I mean you filtered data now come coming back to the first helper column which I have added so this is because of since you have sorted the columns your row associations are jumbled up right so you need to go back to your original sorted position so how do you do that you simply select the entire range again and sort it back based on the helper column one which is column d on the ascending order what you will do is once you sort it in the ascending order so you have added the number 1 to 9 in chronological order right so it will go back to the, your original position so this is your final sorted data now you can delete these two columns and there you have it your data without duplicates thanks for watching